okay, okay, I know yesterday we made a video talking about how the Montreal Canadiens have the best case scenario at hand. Well, turns out after doing a little bit more research, looking at it a little bit more, there's actually another team here who I think has a very, very interesting chance at pulling off what I'm going to define as the absolute best case scenario. If you want to take a look at it, this team right here is the New York Rangers. They are a team that is in the play-in rounds for the 2020 Stanley Cup playoffs, and they're in a really good spot right now. Well, why exactly is that? Let's get into it and talk about the Rangers here today. First off, going over what we have as our established status quo, the NHL Draft Lottery is going to take place on June 26. It's going to involve seven draft picks that belong to teams outside of the play-in rounds and the playoffs. Detroit, Ottawa, San Jose, LA, Anaheim, New Jersey, and Buffalo. There will also be eight other draft picks that are un named and just there as placeholder picks that also have a chance to win the lotteries. You have Team A, Team B, Team C, etc. And then once the play-in rounds conclude, every single team who loses the play-in rounds will have an equal opportunity to win any of these assigned picks if these assigned picks win the first, second, or third overall lotteries. This means that if any of the unnamed picks do not win a draft lottery, then the there's no need for another lottery, and the determining factor of the order of the entry draft will just be the point percentage backwards of the teams that lose the play-in rounds. Well, taking a look at these play-in round matchups and taking a look at the draft lottery and how those work together, the Rangers have such a good, good path ahead of them that will all get started if they win their play-in series against the Carolina Hurricanes. Now, the Hurricanes are actually one of the most interesting teams in this spot, because as we noted in our video a few days ago, the Hurricanes were one of the only two teams in the NHL to say that they didn't like the NHL's return to play plan. This was speculated because the Hurricanes didn't want to face off against the Rangers in the play-in series because the Rangers just absolutely smoked Carolina in the regular season this year. If you were a team like Carolina, and you had the choice to say, no, I don't want to do that, don't you think you would take that option? Hey, do you want to go with this format that would allow you to play a best 3 out of 5 against a team that absolutely whooped you in the regular series? Probably not. But it's to no avail, because this is the format we have in place, the Rangers are playing the Hurricanes, and if the Rangers beat the Hurricanes, they have an opportunity to compete in the Final 16 and actually go forward in the Stanley Cup playoffs. So you may be thinking, okay, this is normal. Every scenario is like this, right? If the Rangers win, then they're in the playoffs. If they lose, then their draft pick gets thrown into the other draft picks of loser play-in round teams. And if any of those loser picks wins first, second, or third overall, they will have an equal share at that pie, right? Well, apparently, the Rangers can actually do that even if they win. Because... The Carolina Hurricanes first round pick this year belongs to New York. The Brady Shea trade, remember that? Yeah, that was a first round pick for Shea. And that first round pick is the same first round pick that would have the opportunity to win first, second, or third overall if the Hurricanes lose in the play-in series and if these team A, B, C, D, or E, or whatever wins any of the first, second, or third overall lotteries. In a best case scenario, an absolute best case scenario, mind you, the New York Rangers have the opportunity to eliminate the Carolina Hurricanes, which would make their first round pick eligible to be one of those play-in loser picks. If a play-in loser pick wins first overall, then all the play-in loser picks have an equal chance of becoming first overall, meaning that the Rangers, if they win the Stanley Cup this year and a play-in team gets first overall, they can draft Alexi Lafreniere and win the cup in the same season. Bro! I know their team got weaker when they traded away Shea for that first round pick. I know that. But 
if your team is still in the playoffs, or at least the play-in rounds, you still have a very legitimate opportunity to win hockey games. And because it seemed like the Hurricanes were unconfident in their ability to do that, then, hey, there's a legitimate chance here that honestly says that the Hurricanes might have screwed themselves over here. And even if the Rangers do lose against Carolina, they still have their own first-round pick that exists in this realm too, and that can be awarded to first, second, or third overall if any of these loser picks wins those lotteries. But Lego, okay, what are you talking about? This is hearsay. The odds of this happening are very, very slim. And yes, I get that. I know the Rangers haven't been amazing this season, so the odds of them winning the cup in general are very, very tiny. But just take a look at this graph right here. If you take a look at all the Team A, B, C, D, etc. picks, and you add up their lottery odds for first overall, all of these odds combine for 24.5%. This means that there is a 24.5% chance that the winner of the first overall lottery is a play-in loser pick. And if any of these play-in loser picks win any of the lotteries, all play-in losers have an equal chance of claiming that pick as their own. Meaning that if any of these teams gets first overall, then it's fair game for all the other play-in losers, meaning that it is a possibility that the Rangers could potentially end up with a first overall pick from the team that they eliminated in the play-in rounds. Congrats, Carolina. You just played yourself. Nobody could have foreseen this coming, but it's so, so unfortunate to look at. And on a team where you acquire Brady Shea, you acquire a Sammy Votnin who hasn't even played for you yet, and the first instance of games where you use everybody together is in a play-in series against a team that looked like it had your number in the regular season... Oh boy, things are looking weird in Carolina, and things could be looking crazy good for the New York Rangers. Having multiple first-round picks in the 2020 NHL Draft definitely is not a bad thing, especially if you're a New York team that still looks to be getting better as the years go on with the emergence of Igor Shashurkin, the development of Capo Caco, the incorporation of guys like Keandre Miller and Niels Longfist, and all that into your lineup. This team, if you add an Alexi Lafreniere, oh man, is absolutely going to look amazing. Imagine Lafreniere and Kako playing with Zabanajad. Yeah, that sounds pretty great, doesn't it? And don't worry, I know I'm fetching it really far with the angle of the Rangers being able to win the Cup and Lafreniere in the same season. Of course, it's not going to happen. I know that. It's very unlikely that both happen to the same team. But the Rangers are the only team in these play-in scenarios that actually has the opportunity to do that, where they would profit double-fold on eliminating a team in a play-in round. Now, I know that Carolina has Toronto's first-round pick, so if Toronto loses to Columbus, Carolina could potentially get a lottery pick. Same goes with Minnesota, because they have Pittsburgh's first-round pick as well. If the Canadiens somehow pull off a miracle and defeat Pittsburgh, then the Minnesota Wild would get that first-round pick that could potentially be in the lottery. Or maybe not, I'm actually not too sure if there's any lottery protection in any of those picks. If there is, comment down below in the comments and you can correct me there for sure. But the Rangers, man, this is the only team in the entire play-in series where they can legitimately seal their own fate if they win. The best case scenario is for the Rangers to win. We talked about this with Vancouver and with Montreal, that oh, if they lose, still things are going to be okay because they can get a high draft pick. But the Rangers, nah, -uh. If they win, they're in the playoffs, and that first rounder from Carolina all of a sudden gets thrown into the lotteries of other teams if any of those play-in loser picks wins first overall, which there is a 25% chance that it does. So... The Rangers, man. Yeah, they're looking pretty good. I don't know if they're going to beat the Carolina Hurricanes, but if they do, then my oh my, that is certainly a very, very, very good scenario for them. So comment down below what you think about this idea. I know the Rangers most likely won't win the Cup this year. It's very unlikely that they would, but the possibility is there. And if they also have a chance of getting Lafreniere, which they do... It's just crazy, man. So comment down below what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. So I've Charles 99. And 
Bye.